welcome back on my YouTube channel. I am Giovanni Perin and I'm back with another great vibraphone lesson about improvisation. Today I would like to show you my favorite blues licks. Hey guys, I hope you are having a great day. Today we are still working with my book that is called Easy Mallets, Vibraphone and Improvisation. And the tune that we are working with is called Mills Blues. It's an F blues and it is, of course, dedicated to the one and only Milt Jackson. Let's see the first lick. So I play the fifth and the seventh, the fourth and the sixth, and the third and the fifth of F. All right, now let's try to play this lick on top of the blues four. different octaves so play here here or here remember that it is really important to be able to play the same lick throughout the whole keyboard as always I remember you that if you want to support my channel you may want to buy some of my music my books or even book a private lesson with me we can use Skype zoom or FaceTime let's see the second lick Again, I basically play the third and the fifth, then the fourth and the sixth, and then the fifth and the flat seven. We are playing, of course, always over F major because the chord is F7. So we need to remember the E flat and the B flat. Okay. Now I want to show you something more, but don't tell anybody. You can play a ghost note in your left hand. Watch. Right? So you can play. Of course, you don't need to play with four mallets, so if you are a beginner, don't worry, just play with two mallets. So again, right? I'm basically embellishing the lick by placing a chromatic ghost note before the A and the C, right? Let's see how it sounds in context. can modify the lick. Sometime I was playing as written, but I can also start from up down. And basically I'm playing the first one. Four. And then of course I can add other notes. Those other notes that I can add for embellishing my solo are taken from the minor pentatonic of F. So I have F, A flat, B flat, C, E flat, 
F again. I did a couple of lessons before where I'm talking about this pentatonic and there's also a video about how to use this pentatonic over a funk tune and the tune is also part of the book. This book is a great resource because there's nothing out there for you to get started with vibraphone improvisation. All right, let's see what is the third lick. So I have B, B flat, A flat, and F. This lick again is based on the first three note of F minor plus B. And B is a blue note because it's the flat five. So remember the flat five and the flat three are the blue notes. So if I take a minor pentatonic and I add the flat five, I come up with a six note scale that is called the blue scale. Plus, I can apply kind of a glide or a glissato effect to go from the flat three to the third. So I can imitate the guitar bending. And this is really typical of blues guitar players. And of course, also piano players are doing those glides. And I stole those ideas from piano players actually. So I can play the glide for going from A flat to A, but I can also play the glissato for going from A flat to G, right? Or I can play the same thing going from B to C. So the sharp fourth or the flat five that goes to the fifth or the same thing going backward to the fourth of my scale. Remember to phrase it properly because we are talking about a shuffle group. So we want to have swing eight notes, not even eights. We basically are playing with a triplet feel. So instead of playing one and two and three and, we play one and two and three and. So the second note is actually the third part of a triplet. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Or one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. Now that we know the third lick, we are ready for trying it over the blues form. You can play in different octaves. You can add some notes. Take from the pentatonic. You can displace it rhythmically, starting from different places of the bar. What a note! Or triplet. And of course, you can add some new notes taken from the F minor pentatonic. Now we have three licks and in the books there are many more plus many other exercises for you to get started with improvisation and there are all the backing tracks that you can download for free right now so no excuses for not to begin practicing improvisation from today. The last thing that I want to show you is how to play with those three licks. Basically, 
I will incorporate all those leaks and I will glue everything together using the notes of the F blue scale, a minor pentatonic with a flat five. Let's see how it sounds. to support the channel you may want to purchase one of my books there's a book dedicated to vibraphone and improvisation and another book dedicated to classical marimba and xylophone and they are meant for beginners plus there's a book that is called aphorismi for vibraphone solo so guys i hope this lesson was helpful as usual feel free to leave a comment let me know what you think about the lesson Please turn on the notification button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done before. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook and we see each other next time for another great video about vibraphone and improvisation. Bye bye.